Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. The topic of today is uh, thermoregulation. Thermoregulation, this is uh, the next uh, osmoregulatory uh, homeostatic process in which the body regulates the internal temperature in such a range that it can work easily. The temperature is maintained in such a range that internal enzymes, internal chemical reactions can perform perfectly. Sometimes the external temperature become rise and sometimes that external temperature become low. But uh, the body try to control the internal temperature in a favorable way. This maintaining the favorable condition for the activities of the enzymes for the activities of the chemical reaction is known as thermoregulation because slight change either rise in temperature or fall in temperature can cause changes in the active site of the enzymes and it can stop the many chemical reactions so human and also other living organisms try to regulate the internal temperature in a specific manner. Animals are classified on the basis of this thermoregulation into different categories. Classification of animals first of all is done on the basis of uh, ability to maintain the internal temperature. Number one is the pycolotherm, which are also known as cold-blooded animals. Include the non-vertebrates as well as amphibians and reptiles, which doesn't maintain their internal temperature and they change reg regularly their internal temperature with the changes in the external temperature and they are known as pycolotherms while the second category is the homeotherms which are also known as warm blooded animals you must, must know about these animals that those animals which maintain their internal temperature human birds uh, are included in this category and they uh, re maintain their internal temperature for their internal activities either the external temperature rise or if the internal external temperature become fall means in summer and in, and in winter there will be no effect of external temperature on their internal environment because their internal temperature remains same in a constant form Another basis that is the source of body heat that sometimes organism release less heat and they rely for the heat on environmental heat, environmental temperature, external temperature which include invertebrate, fish and amphibians and these are known as ectotherms means that those organisms, those living organisms or animals which produce metabolic heat at low level and their body then depends on the heat of the environment. While endotherms release much heat from their body as a byproduct, as a byproduct during different metabolic activities metabolic reactions and those the organisms then use their internal body heat for their uh, different activities so they are known as endotherms birds and mammals included in this category so this is a classification of the organisms on the basis of the thermoregulation on the basis of the temperature now we will discuss the thermoregulation in men that how human
control their internal temperature the human can face the two type of the uh, changes in the external environment one is the hyperthermia that is the high temperature and the second one is the cold the low temperature when detected by the body normal human temperature is the 37 degree centigrade but sometime hyperthermia means when the temperature external temperature become rise so what happen inside the body that it maintain the internal temperature the two type of physiological changes occur in the body when there is hypothermia detection human have their thermostat in their brain which is known as hypothalamus hypothalamus detect the changes in the temperature through the blood when the blood flow it uh, send message to the hypothalamus that either the temperature is high or low when there is high temperature hypothalamus uh, brought two changes inside the body one is the vasodilation and the second one is the sweating vasodilation is the dilation or expansion of the vessels especially the capillaries capillaries under the skin dilate or expand and it release much heat because when the capillaries extend the blood flow uh, with very fast speed and the body heat is released from the uh, skin second one due to that heat sweating occur evaporation of the water occur from the skin of the human which is known as sweating and through sweating the body become cool so by these two physiological changes human face hypothermia uh, hyperthermia means uh, increased temperature second one is the cold when the low temperature of the body is detected through the blood when hypothalamus received the message of the cold it uh, then cause two physiological changes one is shivering and the second one is the vasoconstriction shivering is the contraction of the muscles in which the muscles contract so that the body heat cannot be lost in the external environment and remain inside the body to keep the temperature rise second one is the vasoconstriction the vessels are the capillaries are also constricted they contract and the blood flow uh, become slow which cause also pilo erection pilo erection is the erection of the skin hairs and it become an insulator for the heat of the body the body heat cannot be uh, Uh, cannot be released outside and so these physiological changes occur in the cold temp- uh, temperature and the body temperature remain the um, same or at specific level this is the picture given in your book in which the thermoregulation is explained you can see that this is the normally balanced form but when the imbalance occur in the body when the temperature rise receptor of the skin receptor inside the body they give message to this control center that is hypothalamus we already discussed and hypothalamus then send through the efferent pathway to the motor pathway message to the effectors effectors send message to the sweat glands and then sweating occur and the body temperature become low or in normal range another is the colder situation when the imbalance occur body temperature become low 
the receptor give this message to efferent, efferent pathway to the control center hypothalamus hypothalamus give motor message to the to, uh, through efferent pathway or motor pathway to the effector skeletal muscle and as we already uh, studied that the skeletal muscle become contract which is known as shivering and also cause vasoconstriction and piloerection and through these mechanism the body temperature become normal inside uh, as compared to the external temperature which is low as compared to the internal temperature.